Hello, welcome back to Be The Flight Basics and this time we're going to look at the PIDS tab. So without further ado, let's get on with that. Now the PID tab is possibly not what you're expecting. I'm not really going to talk about how to tune PIDs, uh, what the PIDs do, because there's loads of people that have done much better um, talks about tuning than me. Joshua Bardwell, for example, goes on and on about it forever um, and he seems to really enjoy it. For me, I would call myself a really lazy tuner. From, from most of the point, I'm flying out of the box settings and I'm doing little tweaks here and there. I'm not going through and, you know, tuning and tuning and tuning and trying to get the very best from it because um, it's a bit dull. I find it if my quad is flying pretty well, then it's like, well, that works for me. I'll, I'll carry on. I mainly mess around with the rates. Now, on that subject, if you came here wanting to know how to change some of the things like the rates to make your quad easier to handle, um, I went and talked about this in a, what do I call it, uh, a video called Tips for New Quad Flyers uh, Always Fly Acro. Uh, and what I did in there, I talked about how to tune your Super Rates and your um, RC Expo around in order to give yourself a much smoother linear response so you wouldn't sort of be afraid of flying Acro and you'd be able to move the sticks all the way without, you know, doing 20 loops in half a second. That video actually formed the basis for this whole Beta Flight Basics thing because after I said that, lots of people said, What do you mean profile? What is Beta Flight? and that sort of thing. So we're here now. So, what I wanted to talk about in this is something that a lot of people got confused about when in the original video of, of Tips for New Quad Flyers, which is about when I talk about profiles. So, I'm not going to talk about any tuning or uh, filter settings or anything. I'm just going to talk about the easy way of trying out slightly different things using profile settings. Now, since I started making the original video, um, OSDs are commonplace. Back then I was using the MWSD, which was quite a little bit complicated to fit in because you had to solder little bits around and, and do all sorts. Nowadays, a lot of flight controllers, and I have to say most flight controllers, uh, certainly the ones I'm getting, have an OSD already in them, which is really great because it's so easy to do stuff. So lots of the stuff that you'd want to do and maybe use different profile for have gone away because you'd kind of use them for like tuning configs let's try out different things but these are still useful if you've got sort of set configs that you need to have slightly different tuning profiles on different props or different batteries depending on what you're using these are quite handy now all we're talking about when we talk about profiles is this little drop down here most flight controllers you'll have free profiles i don't know if that's a beta flight thing now or a flight controller thing but what each profile has is its own set of PIDs. Um, if you look at this one, I've got the uh, Hollybro Coppice plugged in at the moment, my favourite quad at the moment. And did they actually sell out three different ones? I don't remember, let's have a look. If I go to profile two, uh, nothing changes. What does it? Yes, I've got a slightly different profile there. I've changed my super rates. Profile three is slightly different again. It's their own one. But what you can do in here, because I think it's the same on, on the, the PIDs at least, if I go to free and I say, okay, I want a roll of 50 and a pitch of 50, just as an example, and I go and save that, I can then select that in my quad at any time. And the way I would suggest you do that is through a stick movement. Um, stick commands have kind of gone out of favour a bit. Back in the olden days on the KK boards we used to have to arm quads by doing stick movements because we didn't have enough channels to do switches and stuff. Nowadays it's all like let's arm on a switch and we take off. But the, there's a whole bunch of stick movements in beta flight. I should call them stick commands rather than stick movements. Obviously it's stick movements when you're flying. Here's a quick screenshot of what you've got there and the ones we're interested in is, is doing the profile things. What you used to do is, is arm with uh, this is mode 2, throttle down, you're over, and disarm with throttle down, left stick. Now, the reason these are falling out of favour is, of course, if you zip inverted and say, I want to do an inverted your spin, and you do that, you disarm your quad mid-air, and that's not a good situation. So these days, it's all about arming, and then you can do what you like with this. However, if you're disarmed, the config about doing disarm commands still works. So the, the way to change profiles is... You go to the disarm, which is throttle stick down, your left. Then on the right stick, you've got profile one, over on the left there, profile two, straight up, profile three, right. 
Now you can also set this through the OSD by going into your, um, I forgot what it is now, it's either left or right, <laughs> and up that way. And you can navigate the menus and you can choose profiles that way. But that's kind of a bit long-winded. It's much easier to do it this way. And I'll, I'll show you what this looks like on a quad, because handily enough, if you've got a beeper, it will beep the amount of times for the profile and the light will also flash and it looks like this. So two ways of setting it and the OSD way is to go into the OSD, go to profile and then you can just go through your PID profiles one to three. I'll go to one, then you just go back and exit out. All easy peasy. So that's quite useful if you're changing things in your profile, but if you just want to change it on the quad on the floor, as we've got here, then you just go to disarm on your left stick and go here to one. You get a single beep, you should get a single flash as well on the flight controller. Two, two beeps, and three. Three beeps, three flashes, easy as that. Now the only thing I wanted to touch on in this section was the throttle expo, because this comes up occasionally where you've got a quad and you're trying to get this point where it's flying steady, not going up, not going down, and you can't seem to find it. And there's just like, if your throttle's on a ratchet, you literally got one ratchet where it goes up, move it down one, it goes down. You want this level flying thing, which is hard to find sometimes. So for that, you've got the throttle expo setting here. And what you can do in it is basically just increase it. And as you increase it, you'll notice this curve here flattening out towards the center. And that flattened bit in the center means you've got slightly more range on this one so by increasing that you should be able to find that nice level flying bit that you need now when i'm using this and i've needed it in a few quads where they have just up or down but not level and it's really quite annoying to try and fly like that because you're instantly you it's it's all over the place you're not you're not flying along gracefully you're just up and down like this all the time and your thumbs doing this um, i find this quite useful to use in conjunction with the profiles and this is an example profile thing so so I might say let's do point one on the first profile point two on the second and point three on the third that's very easy to fly one come back land switch profile fly again see what feels right and then you know and you can make all your profiles the right thing for you and that's it that's all I want to say about the pit tuning tab because generally speaking if you're on a later version of beta flight we're up to three two something now if you've got decent quality bits then generally speaking you're going to have a pretty smooth flight from the get-go on those default pins if something's really badly oscillating away or something it's probably setup of your components or a problem in your components rather than the tune itself anyway i will catch you in the next beta flight basic session which will be on the receiver tab i will see you later bye for now